Hi everyone, today is May 14th, 2019. My name is Thomas Kim. In this episode, we will learn how to extend the C++ standard library class. This is episode 1. In this episode, we will learn about the slicing problem. If you don't understand the slicing problem, you are very likely to have resource leak, especially memory leak. So to prevent any memory leak, you need to have solid understanding about slicing problem. If you haven't watched my video about memory leak detection class for Visual C++ application, please double click this link. Please watch this video about memory leak detection class for Visual C++ application and click show more download the sample source code by clicking this link. So I wish you to watch this video. It will be very useful if you are Visual C++ programmer. Then click this button, show in folder. From this folder, unzip it. Unzip current location. Then here, rename like this. Rename slicing problem memory leak detection. Slicing problem memory leak detection solution. Right click, copy. You have to move it to your working folder. I pasted it here. Then double click. Click this solution path. Copy, then start Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio 19. Okay, this is Visual Studio 19. You can open the file, go to file, open project solution, paste, click open. Then here, click memory leak detection solution, open. If you are using Visual Studio 2019 or 2017, you will have this message. I'm using Visual Studio 19. Then click OK to upgrade. Please note that to use this memory leak detection class, you will have to use debug build. Okay. Now I will create project, right click solution, then add new project. From this add new project, platform, windows, okay, project type, console. Then you will have empty project or windows console terminal hello world. I will select console this. Then I can say slicing problem. Okay, then create. So console application is created, then right click, set as a startup project, right click once again, right click, properties, in this property page, click this button, general, here, edit. In this dialog box, click this button. Solution DIR. Then include. Click OK. Then OK. Now, right click. If you open the folder, in this folder there is include folder. We will include the memory leak detect this header file so right click add existing item go up go up level click include then click this button so include this header file now in this source file you can add like this include memory leak detect okay so if we want to detect memory memory leak, we have to build in debug mode. Okay, we have to select debug. 
means x64 or x686 it doesn't matter but it should be debug build okay now at this point mem leak check we are making a checkpoint for example mem check i can't make any name this is macro okay macro then i create int pointer ptr we dynamically allocate new int then we run control f5 it should be in debug build control f5 okay it will leak memory because we haven't deleted it why is giggle we forgot semicolon here so control f5 again we have this message mem check at line 9 line 9 this is line 9 mem check mem check four bytes leaked four bytes leaked because we allocated the memory but haven't deleted then we can say delete ptr i close it then run again control f5 because we deleted the memory so we do not have memory leak message also if you want to know memory leak state you can say mem leak report okay here you have to provide this mem check this label copy and paste okay then if we run it again control f5 it will give this message memory state clean it means no memory leak occurred okay so this way we can check the block between mem check mem mem leak check between mem leak check report we can check memory leak here i will add one more header file include string then i will change the function name void test memory leak i change the function name like this and i will create int main i will copy this function name so you can test it later then i will disable it now at this point class member type private std string m name public i will copy this class name here this is constant characters pointer name this is constructor name i created a constructor then this is destructor member type std see out member type this m name destructor called like this so this is member class member types constructor and destructor now we are creating base class class non virtual base here private i will create a member type here member field 
am base member field public I create constructor copy and initialize this member field copy the this is base okay so this name will be displayed member type base destructor called I will say I will make like this this is constructor now we are creating this structure I copied this name tilde face this is this structure std cout non virtual base destructor called okay now we define the non virtual base class please note that this destructor is not virtual destructor okay now we are creating derived class class public derived public we are deriving from this number virtual base class I say public non virtual derived okay public non virtual derived it is derived from here private we are copying this member type here m derived member field public we are creating constructor then we we have to initialize virtual base 2 okay before before but I will try virtual base base like this then I initialize it derived then this is constructor now we are creating non virtual public destructor this is non non virtual this is not virtual destructor and i will copy this base dd and i copy and paste it okay now let's see when the memory resource leaks okay void no memory leak here mem leak check local stack variable sorry I have to change like this local variable I make checkpoint I create an instance of this public non virtual drive obj mem 
leak check report. I copy this name, copy, pasted it here. Now we test this, copy, pasted, control F5. So in this case, memory check local variable 32 byte alive. Public non-virtual drive destructor called. Member type drive destructor called. Non-virtual base destructor called. Now I will remove this. This is not actually bug, so I will remove this. Let's run it again. Ctrl F5. So there is no memory leak message. So every destructors 1, 2, 3, 4 are destroyed properly. No memory leak. I copy this, paste, still, no memory leak. Now we are going dynamic, derived, dynamic, allocation, okay? Now in this case, we are dynamically allocate here, PTR, new, we dynamically allocate. Now I disable this, I copy, paste it, Ctrl F5. We still have, we have, sorry, we have to delete. Delete. Paste. Ctrl F5. Sorry, PTR. Okay. Ctrl F5. No memory leak, four destructors are called properly. Now, memory leaks. Okay, now in this case, drive dynamic allocation to base. I changed like this. Now we are taking base, non-virtual base class. Here. I changed. Note that we allocate memory with derived class. This is derived class. Then allocate the memory and assign to base class like this, non-virtual base class. Now it leaks memory. I copy paste. Now Ctrl F5. See? 16 byte leaked. Memory leaked. Also note that the two only two destructor is called. Non-virtual base class destructor called, member type base destructor called. So in this case, we allocated public non-virtual driver class, but the destructor is called only for non-virtual base class. Only this destructor and this destructors are called. So this problem is called slicing problem.
Now we understand what is slicing problem. I will give you solution now. The first solution is pretty simple but not always feasible. For example, make the base classes destructor virtual like this. This is base class. Now we make it virtual and we learn this program again. Control F5. Now no memory leak. No memory leak. But if the base class is a C++ standard library, we usually cannot modify the source code of C++ standard library. So, it does not work if we cannot modify the source code of the base class. Now, I will restore it back to non-virtual. Okay. Now, the second solution make either private or protected derived class. That is use protected inheritance as below. Now I will create derived class. This is public non-virtual. This is public derived inheritance. This is public inheritance. I copy it. I copied it and pasted it here. I will make it protected protected, then I change it protected inheritance, okay? Then I copy it, paste it, paste it, then it should be protected. Okay, so I create another function. I copy it and paste it. cannot assign derived PTR to base PTR. Okay. Now in this case, I will copy this name and put it here. I will change like this. We cannot do protected. Okay, we cannot assign pro this is protected class to drive the class. We cannot do this. This does not work. Okay, so there is only one way. Copy this face this okay this is okay 
this is okay this does not work cut paste we cannot assign protected derived class pointer to protected base class pointer I say we cannot assign drive the class to drive the classes pointer to protected base class pointer. This is this does not work, but it's okay because these are the same pointer. But if we are going to inherit from C++ standard library class if we use protected inheritance we cannot provide access to base class members there is one way we can introduce using using statement But I will not consider it very useful. In some case, it can be useful. Okay, the third solution. This is the most viable solution. We derive we create a derived class using public inheritance from C++ standard library as long as we do not add data field to the to our derived class then no memory leak now let's think about this third solution here we drive another class I copy this and paste it. Now it is correct, correctly derived. Now we make it public. If we do not have this data field, okay, we do not have data field then no memory leaks i will copy this paste it here paste it here we don't have this we don't have a member field data field okay i copy this copy this now in this configuration Void 
The safer way. Now I copy this part. Safe way. Now correctly this is non virtual base class this is base class ptr we allocate new our drive the class this is drive the class okay then delete ptr now we call this function copy paste I will disable it control F5 no memory leak okay no memory leak this constructor this constructor is not called because we haven't added any we have not added any data field we don't need to we don't need to call this destructor because we do not have a memory to destruct is okay the dry, the destructor of the derived class not called at all it's okay because we have nothing to destruct and everything will be destructed in non-virtual base class in this configuration in this configuration non-virtual base class can be C++ standard library and correctly drive the class can be our custom derived class for example std vector does not have a virtual destructor but still we can drive from std vector as long as we do not add data field to our derived class for example std vector does not have virtual destructor but still we can drive from std vector as long as we do not add data field to our derived class of course if the C++ standard libraries class has virtual destructor then we can safely add data field to our derived class wow i hope you understand this concept so if we understand what is the slicing problem we can safely extend the C++ standard library. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.